Hello everyone, Steve Anchitz here. Welcome back to GSM Tennis. Uh, I'm really excited today because uh, we're going to talk about strings. And I know the first time that I played tennis, uh, I broke a string, I think my second or third week, and I thought I broke the racket. I was like, what? This, this doesn't happen. And I remember taking it to a shop and I didn't know what to do because there were different types of strings and I didn't know what kind I should get. Basically at the time I was a high school student, so I was like, I just want the cheapest thing. And so today, we're at Les Moines Tennis Shop with Steve again, and uh, he's going to talk about what are the different types of strings and what they offer uh, to you as a player. So I'm really excited because I think they're going to give you, me some insight and you some insight that you probably haven't thought about. Uh, first string I'm going to talk about is Natural Gut. Uh, this is Babolat VS Touch. Uh, in our opinion, without a doubt, one of the better playing gut strings out there. Okay. Um, what is Natural Gut? It is actually uh, cow intestine. Cow intestine, there you go. <laughs> it is, these are all handmade. Okay. Uh, it is still manufactured in France, and each reel, or each set rather, takes about two weeks to make. Wow. Um, the purpose of Natural Gut is really a very touch-oriented, uh, comfortable, feeling-oriented string. Okay. Uh, we're, we're looking at people who really don't break strings all that much and want as much feel for the ball as possible. Uh, with comfort comes a lack of durability because it is a softer plain string. It will not last as long. Okay. It's very susceptible to breaking at knots um, It doesn't like a lot of spin because the friction that spin causes will cause a premature breakage. Sure But for just the pure feel of it, there really isn't anything that compares to how you can actually feel the ball on the string bed. Yeah and, uh, Kind of keep it and, and nestle that ball on the string bed Control the ball a little bit more. Interesting. So, How about in terms of power? Does it give you lots of power, or is it just really going to be that more feeling? of uh, relying on your on your tension that you string it at? Okay. Uh, I don't like to say strings really give you power per se. Okay. Um, because each string is going to sink deeper on the on the head on the head of the racket, dependent on on your tension. Interesting. So uh, the lower your tension, the deeper the ball can sink, and therefore be ejected off. Okay. So it doesn't matter what type of string, if you just have it lower, right. that's going to give you more. Absolutely. Gotcha. But with more power comes lack of control. Correct. Uh, so this is going to give you a lot of control. Just, I, would, I wouldn't say control, I would say feel. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Feel for the ball. Yeah. So, uh, middle of the road, and I, by that I mean different ends of the spectrum. We're going very soft here, and we'll soon talk about a, a very stiff, rigid string, but uh, splitting the difference is a synthetic gut. Uh, this is Wilson NXT, extremely popular strain. I can tell you that's what I started with, was a synthetic gut. So it, it's nowhere near the cost of natural gut. Okay. Um, if you're looking to save a few bucks, go away from the natural gut and go with a nice plain synthetic. Okay. Um, it is just what they say it is. It's a synthetic gut. It's meant to mimic the play of the natural gut. Again, because it's not uh, as difficult to produce, yeah. it comes at a lower price. Uh, it's a little bit more durable, the natural gut. Okay. And it, is, it doesn't play as, as forgiving and you don't have as much feel for the ball as natural gut. But I think, bang for your buck, this is the way to go. Okay. Uh, you're not locked into, say, a string like this, multi-filament strings or synthetic guts as they're uh, referred to, uh, coming up array of prices, generally depending on how many filaments are involved with, with the actual process of manufacturing the string. Yeah. So, uh, so again, you call it a synthetic gut or you call it a... Multi-filament. Multi-filament. Why filaments, are you calling it a multi-filament? Uh, the way a string is made is uh, you've got many strands of fiber wrapped around. Okay. Uh, the more fibers you have, uh, the softer it plays. Yep. And the more touch you have for the ball. So filament kind of meaning a string, and there's multiple strings being laced into one. Right. I got you. In, in essentially one cord that yeah. makes up the actual string. So, all right. Um, the, the fewer the filaments, generally we find that it's a little bit more durable. So, okay. Um, you could probably uh, drop down to a slightly stiffer multi-filament or synthetic gut, if, if you will, and get that string to last a little bit longer. Okay. So. Uh, last string we're going to talk about is a poly or monofilament, as they're referred to. Uh, 
the one I chose to display today is the Luxalon ALU Power, commonly referred to as Big Banger, without yeah. a doubt. <laughs> one of the most popular strings in the world, uh, certainly on tour. Uh, the string is the polar opposite of natural gun. <laughs> it is, is one, one chord yeah. material. And it is meant to, in this instance, provide more durability and certainly more spin. Now, spin is based on the, uh, the construction of the string and its rebound action. Yeah. So, with a monofilament, as you slide, or brush up on the ball rather, or come down on the ball for your spin, on a multifilament, the string will slide and stop. Okay, so it slides, yep. And oftentimes you'll see people straightening their strings. Yep. On a monofilament, when that ball hits and slides the string, there's a snapback action based on the construction. Kind of like a rubber band? Right. Snaps back. It's that return to its original location on the string bed that gives you this incredible spin. If you watch Nadal play, a lot of people think that he creates this exaggerated spin with that whipping motion that he has on his forehand or many of his strokes. But in actuality, he's playing with a, a monofilament string, poly string called RPM Blast. Yep. At a very low tension. So that, that string bed will slide, yep. pull the ball, and then it snaps it back. And that's where he's getting that exaggerated spin from. Okay. Now, with the one thing to consider is with the increased durability, because of the stiffness and the rigidity of the string. Yep. It's also a little bit shocking to your arm. Okay. Multi-filament and natural gut, without a doubt, like I said, are very comfortable strings. They absorb a lot of the vibration that goes on when you make solid contact with the yep. ball. This does not. And okay. It will send that vibration into your arm, and it could cause some discomfort. Uh, we generally gradually ease people into the process. Maybe going with a softer poly before going with something like Big Bang. Yep. But uh, benefits to your game, if, if your arm is strong enough to handle it, are noticeable. Yeah. You, you will see that ball submarine down on the baseline. You'll get it you know, yeah. so much extra top. Awesome. So can we quickly summarize for everyone, just real quick, sure. like one sentence per uh, type of strength. So we start off with natural, and the main benefit is? Touch for the ball, comfort on your arm. Comfort, okay. And it's expensive? Yes, it is. It's expensive. It is on the highest end of the, of the platform. Okay. The uh, splitting the difference here, we're going with a synthetic gut or a multi-filament. Yep. And uh, this is, again, comfortable, not as comfortable as gut. So decent durability, decent feel. Correct. Cheap. Cheaper. Cheaper. <laughs> and, and natural. Okay. Uh, then you go to the opposite end of the spectrum. Durable. Increased spin, yeah. not comfortable for your arm. How about price? About the same as a synthetic gut. Okay. And again, there are ranges in that. Yep. All right, well, thanks, Steve. No thanks, worries. Les Moise. Again, if you're interested in getting any strings, I, re I recommend getting in contact with them. They have a website. Phone number? Uh, Facebook page, actually. Facebook page. Yeah. And uh, phone number is 262-518-0069. And I, I can tell you, uh, they do all my stringing, and they string all of my college players' string rackets. So uh, they know what they're doing. I love their uh, service. Uh, check them out. Uh, leave a comment below telling us what string you use and which one you're interested in learning more about. And we can do another video, and I can give you some feedback, maybe strictly from Steve or from me, uh, about what you can do with those strings. So until next time, go have fun, play some tennis, and oh, take care. Thanks. Bye.